So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the formula interface in R. Uh, so the formula interface is Y tilde X, or more descriptively, we say we have a response and it's modeled by a predictor. You think of it as kind of being like uh, Y equals A, well, Y equals X. Uh, you can kind of think of it that way, but for the most part, in general, it's response modeled by a predictor. Uh, where this uh, variable on the left-hand side is viewed as, in some sense, an independent variable, and the one on the right-hand side is a dependent variable. Um, so uh, you uh, can, uh, if you wanted to, you could specify combinations with this thing with via y tilde x plus z. Now, when working with formulas, uh, you uh, need to realize that a lot of the usual operators such as plus or minus or times or or this or operator all of those things have possibly different meanings in the context of a formula in fact uh we could say um formulas are in fact their own class of objects so i could say y tilde so f is going to be assigned y tilde x when i type out what f is it's y tilde x and when i ask for what the class of f is it says it's a formula so formulas are a special type of object, and if I were to do, um, uh, oh, that's not what I want. If I were to do uh, y tilde x plus z, then when I look at f, I get y tilde x plus z, which is how R is going to print formulas, and it's still essentially a formula. So uh, plus in formulas means something different. If you want it to mean literal addition, as in you literally are adding two things together, you need to wrap the two things that you're adding together within a call to the i function. I'm not really sure what i does. Um, oh, it just makes something as is. So it tries to avoid any sort of uh, overloading that could be resulting. So you can use that to mean literal addition if you, if you want. But for the most part, um, most of the time, you're probably wanting the x plus z uh interface and other things that show up in formulas are like for example um there's x plus z there's also x times z uh times means something different when used in the context of a form of a formula you've also seen uh you've also seen this before where we have a bar and that was being used extensively by the lattice package so things could possibly mean different things in formulas how exactly they're interpreted kind of depends on the function that was given the formula uh, these are ways for us to create, in a sense, models or to say how uh, variables depend on other variables. Oh, another thing. Uh, I think you are allowed uh, y, let's say y plus uh, g. Yeah, that's that's also allowed. So you can have pluses on the left-hand side of the tilde operator too if, that, if for some reason your function allows it. Um, <clears throat> Often functions that are supporting this uh, formula interface are coming with additional arguments such as the data parameter. Now, that's not always true. For example, I have a package that allows for formulas but doesn't have a data parameter uh, in the functions that use it, which um, in retrospect may not be very wise. And if I were to redesign it, I'd probably try to keep things in compliance with how they're typically done. But you often have this data argument that can be used to specify the data set in which the variables showing up in the formula are coming from. You can also have a subset argument that is uh, deciding, as in the case of the subset function, which rows of this data set to actually use in your function. So functions that are using the formula interface include box plot, LM, summary. Well, okay, kind of summary. If you load in a package, then the summary function supports the formula interface. And also the lattice functions, the lattice plotting functions, those support formulas. So uh, here's an example of using the formula interface to create a box plot. And uh, you've probably seen this before. I'm saying that we have different supplement types. So the length of um, the tooth growth depends on the supplement type. Uh, I'm gonna say, let's use the tooth growth data set and we're gonna subset this data set so that we're only using a half dosage. Okay, so we create such a box plot. There we go, looks perfectly fine. And this is a different box plot from if we, from if we were to uh, say uh, that the length depends on a combination of the supplement and, a dose, and the dosage. So this is combining the two variables, supplement and dosage. And as a result, you see 
uh, different box plots for different combinations of uh, supplement type and dosage amount, uh, which is very nice. Uh, so other things that we can do, if you load in the package called HMISC, do I have this package? Yes, I do. If you load in this package, it's taking a bit. All right, if you load it in, then the summary function actually gets um, a method for formulas that's quite nice, where it will give you uh, summaries that depend on uh, the that that uh, basically allow for some uh, dependence like this. For for instance, in this case, we see how uh, this is a uh, this model by supplement plus dose. So in this case, we get different means for combinations of supplement and dosage amount. Um, or actually, no, what we see is uh, the means for different supplements and means for different dosages. So this will include uh, both uh, all three dosage levels, and this will include both supplement levels. Uh, I wonder what would happen if we replaced plus with times. I'm just curious. I actually don't know what's going to happen. Hmm. Nothing really different, but it's giving us means, and I think you have a function that can that you can use to... Um, I think there's a function that you can use or a parameter that you can set when calling summary this way to change the uh, uh, type of parameter that you're looking at. Let's see, we're looking at args. So we're looking at the arguments of the function summary.formula. Uh, oh, I guess that's not a thing. Uh, well, if we were to try hmisc. If we were to try that now. Uh, what if we do this? Okay, that 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 caused it to confess. So we could set, for instance, um, fun, and say let's say uh, fun equals median. All right, now we're getting medians instead of means for each group. Uh, all right, and we can even plot these. We can plot our summaries, and it will give us these uh, uh, kind of dot plots for uh, the value of the statistic we're considering for the different combinations of supplement and dosage. Okay, so that is a quick overview of the formula interface. Uh, it's a way for us to tell our functions how variables and data sets depend on each other. And it's being used in many different places. The plot function uses it or supports it. Uh, the uh, I think the mean function might support it. If we do mean... Um, len model by uh, sup uh, data equals tooth growth. Let's see, does this work? No, it doesn't. So mean does not support formulas. Uh, but you can get the same effect effectively using uh, the uh, summary function that comes with hmisc. All right, so that's it for this uh, lecture, and I'll see you in the next one where I talk about paired data.